These cute little gnomes are ten dollars. Didn't know I was gonna be blocking in here. Mushroom. This one's three dollars. Everything hanging up right here is one dollar. Look at the chair. Look at the table and the coffee pot. the little gnome gardens you must come to the dollar general store they have so much the little angels two dollars three fifty one dollar I'm gonna continue looking I just wanted to share those with you. I thought they were just too cute. And a must have for anyone that's doing their little gnome gardens, fairy gardens. I'll be back. These cute little gnomes are $10. Didn't know I was going to be vlogging in here. The cute little bird houses. Camper bird house. Just all kinds of cute little things. Look at the welcome to our garden. No. That's the only one. One dollar. And we're at the Dollar General's. Can you guess where I went this week? I had to get a couple of produce items. So I stopped in at the Dollar General store to get a couple of produce items. I don't know if y'all remember or not. I'm back. <laughs> My brain's whirling, so I gotta try to hold it back. Um, one thing I've told you about the Dollar General store in our town, they do have a little bit of produce. They have a little bit in the cooler section, in the freezer section. I could feed my family for a week out of the Dollar General store, but I was wanting some celery, so I bought, I was going to see how, just a stalk of celery, one count, and it was a dollar seventy something. I meant to bring the uh, receipt out here. If I think, I'll insert the prices. Kind of in brain fog right now with the way the weather is, and I think a lot of y'all may know what I'm talking about. But I wanted some sour cream, and this was a 16 ounce container. It's their Clover Valley brand, and I got it for two dollars. I'm believing my green peppers. I bought two green peppers. I believe they were like a dollar seventy five for two. So, as you're seeing, these prices to keep me from having to go to a bigger store and stuff are really not that bad. Definitely needed some tomatoes. I bought four. They're uh, Red Sun Greenhouse tomatoes, a product of Mexico. There was four in a pack. And they were like $2.50, around $2.50, but to have tomato on a cheeseburger I got a pack so that was all of my cold stuff 
And of course, you know, you can't go into the Dollar General store without looking around. Well, before I even got into the store, I seen a stick. Y'all know what kind of stick that is? Can y'all guess? It's a stick. Yeah, it's a tomato steak. They had these steaks sitting outside before I even went in. I grabbed six of them. I brought one in to show you, but I grabbed six tomato steaks, and they're a dollar. And the wood, of course, you don't get treated, but it's a good, solid piece of wood. I know it'll last a season. It may last two or three seasons. I don't know if I've ever seen wooden tomato steaks at the Dollar General store, but for a dollar, I bought six. I didn't need either one of these. And I don't know if I'm keeping both of them or not. But because I found them, I got them. They'll either be pretty hanging up in here somewhere, or they'll make a good gift in a gift basket. But I bought the ball jar. Do small things with great love. And as you say, I mean, as I've told you, like on gift bags and stuff, I love to get things that have sayings on them. This actually has metal up here. These are bigger than the dollar ones you can find. And I actually paid a little bit more for them, but because I really, really liked them, I got them for three fifty, which I still do not think it's a, a bad buy, three fifty. If I had went on Saturday, when they had $5 off coupon day of $25 or more, you could say I could have used that coupon and got this one free and this one almost free. I would have paid like $2 for both of them, but sometimes I don't make it out on Saturday, so I didn't want to miss out on them. This is my second one. It was three fifty. Also, be the best version of you. And I thought these were just too cute. I love anything to do with cannon jars. I was gonna see if it tells you the size. I may need to start bringing a ruler out here in case, because sometimes I know when I'm watching stuff, I can't tell uh, dimensions real well. But I will tell you that. These have like grooves in them. They're not just painted on. There's actual grooves in them. Got the little patchwork tart here and here. And the little, I call it burlap or jute. Too cute. Had to have them. Remember I said these were bigger. That's why you can't get them. Maybe when they come on clearance, I'm going to keep looking when I go in. I'm not making any extra trips out, but I will keep looking in case they do go on clearance or go on a really good price. Because like I said, they would make nice gifts, especially for people that you know that love to can. I did find Love Grows here, a little canning jar. And it was a dollar. Love Grows here. For one dollar at the Dollar General store. You can see the difference in the sides of the two. But they're both cute. I wish they'd had some more like these in the farm style thing. I really like the farm style thing. <coughs> I actually bought this to go in a gift bag. And it is so pretty. Then they had the birdhouse. Home Sweet Home, another gift I bought to go in a gift bag. Home Sweet Home. And I thought it was real cute, and like they has the metal up here too, a dollar at the Dollar General store. I don't know if people realize that the Dollar General store does have a lot of dollar items, real cute items. I seen this little color in wood dinosaur kit and couldn't pass it up. I'm actually, when I run across different little items that are dinosaur, 
there's a special little girl in our life that loves dinosaurs, so I try to pick up stuff here and there. I, a lot of times I forget, but this one stood out at me, and I know she'll have fun coloring it in, but for a dollar, and it's wood, and then she can hang it up, uh, lay it out. There's, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can stand it up. It's got a little stand right here. I thought it did. So you could actually stand it up. But for a dollar, they had other items, but the dinosaur is the only one that I was interested in. I bought not one, but two of these because I'm redoing my kitchen. Um, I have a use for these. I'm gonna see if it works. If it does, I'll tell you. But I bought two of these bottle openers. It's a stainless steel, non-slip plastic opening. Opens bottles and cans easily. But I bought it because it's not pointed in here. Some of, you know, the can openers, bottle openers are pointed. This one's not, and I had a, a specific reason that I didn't want it pointed. I bought uh, a bottle opener the other day and hauled it, but it has the point on it, which is great. I still will use that one, but I bought two of these. They were good cook essentials. I paid $2 a piece for them. I do remember that. Can you believe it? I remember that. These are coming out of a section that I took a little bit of video of. And you'll see it at the beginning of this show. I didn't do a walkthrough, but I did do... I was really surprised at some of the things they had in their garden section, especially in their gnomes and uh, fairy garden section. But these are little rocks. This one had a gnome on it. Bet you can't guess who I got this one for. For a dollar. It says, Home Sweet Home. But I got that one for a special somebody. I think y'all might know who I'm talking about. And I also got this one for her. Uh, she had lost her little mini pen a few months ago. And uh, for anybody that has lost a pet, or commemorates a pet until we meet again with a little bone on it. And they had a couple of these. This is the one I picked out, but also for that very special person y'all know. If she's watching, she better hurry up and get back. I may, I may have to give them somebody else. Last time she came back because I had uh, boiled eggs, three dozen, and she had to get back for her. You think I can tease her? You think she'll come back knowing she's got some goodies waiting on her? She might. Didn't really need any pictures, but there was one on this shadow box set that spoke out to me. And like I said, I got to get this decluttering done. I got to get my videos caught up so I can get this decluttering done. But for my bathroom where my washer and dryer is, this one spoke out to me. Washroom. Let me see, what does it say? The washroom, open all night, loads of fun. That's the one that spoke out to me. But this one is also pretty. Wash, dry, fold, and repeat. And both of them are so true. So, I actually bought these to go in my bathroom where my washer and dryer is. If something happens and I don't use it, I know someone this would make a great gift for. So, I'm not losing out either way, but nothing else. I definitely want to use this one, but this one's pretty too. So, I just have to wait and see. These are in centimeters. I don't read centimeters unless I look it up on Google. But it says 9.02 inch by 9.02 inch. Oh! <laughs> that's not centimeters, that's inches. I was looking 
here. And I should have been looking here. I told you, mistakes and all, that it's like nine point at nine by nine, pretty much. A square. But for five dollars, that's two fifty a picture. You can't beat that. Especially with it being the farmhouse style look. I have uh, three more items that I got at the Dollar General store. I couldn't believe it. Um, I seen this one to start with. Cluck. Got the, uh, I don't know if you can see the chicken wire. Yeah, you can see chicken wire in the rooster. It says cluck. It comes on a wire hanger. It was just one dollar. I was tickled to death just to find this one. They had two more hanging up, and I thought, they're probably going to be the rooster, too. Was I right? I was wrong. They also had the moo cow, again, with the uh, chicken wire. The moo cow. And they had the pig, oink. And all these are on a, I don't know, I'm going to say this is a wooden frame with a chicken wire. If it's not wooden, it's a compressed cardboard. So don't take my word for it. But for a dollar at the Dollar General store, I got the pig, the cow, and the chicken. That was it for my Dollar General store haul. Went in for a few produce items, the peppers, the celery, and uh, sour cream, and my tomatoes. And I come out with a few goodies on top of it. Remember, if you go to the Dollar General store on Saturday, online they'll have a coupon, $5 off. Normally it's $25 purchase. They'll also have their own coupons if you download the Dollar General app, which I use a lot when I doing a big shopping trip, like I said, wasn't gonna make it out for the Saturday. Um, so instead of losing out, especially when I know that the two bigger uh, ball jars, they only had three of these and I bought two of them. I think they had one of these left. Probably wouldn't be there on Saturday. I decided to go ahead and purchase them. That was just a personal choice of mine. Could it have been something I could have done without? Definitely. Has it been something I've been hunting for? Definitely. So since I found it, I decided to get it. And like I said, some of these items are to share, put in gift bags. Uh, one's debatable because it's pretty enough to stay here and it's also pretty enough to be a gift. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the Dollar General store haul. I hope you enjoyed the clip I did before I started the haul of some of the little fairy and gnome garden ideas that they have for one dollar at the Dollar General store. And I hope you try your local Dollar General store out. One of these days I will do a walk through in one the day I went it was rainy, it was packed. Um, I have a hard enough time doing a walkthrough as it is, but when a store is crowded, I definitely don't want to attempt it. I'm surprised I even did as much as I did on the filming. We have a Dollar General store that's a little bit bigger than the one right here in town. It's not too much farther down the road. Uh, a lot of times they're not quite as busy, so I think I'll hit them up some early morning and show you. They're not the Dollar General market. They're just a regular Dollar General store that has, uh, I don't even, I'm not even sure if this one has any produce like ours, but it does have a cooler section and a freezer section and a fairly good size grocery section. So I may, uh, take y'all into uh, that one at some point. But I hope you enjoy this Dollar General store haul. I've got more hauls I gotta get done, people. Gotta get them done.
But until next time, we'll talk soon. Mm -hmm.